Crispy Coil, my dog. Let's do a review. Say hello, Jake. Say hello to all the sneakerheads out there. Hey, Jake, give me Paul. Paul for the sneakerheads. Oh, sucky. Oh, sucky. Yo, what up, Jake? What up, Jake? Blues, yo, kick a freestyle, Jake. His rap definition is wild. He had treats as a juvenile. Alpo in bits. Yeah, Jake, tell him about your bones, Jake. Tell him about your bones. Oh, scratch yourself, kid. Do it, kid. Oh, look, we got the Gucci. The Gucci belt, John, right here. Tier Zero release uh, dog collar. Oh, Jake. Okay, that's my dog. We got a review. He must have a bite somewhere. Jake, Jake. All right, we got a uh, an outer. Um, right here, you got the... Uh, anyway, that's my boy Jake. It's my dog, people. Let's get into the kicks. You know it's sneaker time, crispy coil. Jake, go get mommy. <laughs> my girl's probably like, what is he doing up there with that camera again? <sighs> anyway, dude, crispy coil time, video time. You know how I get it. Philadelphia, crispy coil, the attic, insane for monetary gain. All right, here we go. Real quick, I want to give a big thanks to everybody that got me hooked up with Emerald Nuts. I just got this worldy check. It's this can of nuts. That's all I got. It's all right, though. I'm about to monetize the shit out of it, though. Emerald Nuts, sweet and salty, all crazy. Cinnamon sugar insides. Um, you got the cinnamon roasted flywire. This is a uh, this is a quick strike edition. Right here, it shows you how much new buck is in it. <laughs> ah, sweet and salty nuts. Get them on her hot, kid. Just got done watching some uh, some basketball March Madness. I don't know why they call it March Madness though. It should be called March like kindness or something. Anyway, real quick, fifty bucks, size twelve, Blazer SB. Boom, with the extra laces that I throw on there, looking ultra dapper. I never wore them, I probably never will. Um, if anybody wants them, holler at me, size 12. Getting rid of my SBs. Um, chrome ball highs, 12, dead stock. Uh, 100 bucks, shipped. Mental, skate mental, 75 plus shipping. Um... Let me see. Oceanic Airlines. Uh, buck ten. I mean, I, I'm selling them for less than what I paid, all those shoes. Never took a bad fall. Smack a head up against the wall like playing handball. My style's ill. I slam like Hulk Hogan. Dice rolls written on my arm. Uh, Air Force One Low Premium 08. Quick Strike would stand right there. It stands for Quiet Smurf. This is the Quiet Smurf Pack. Um... This shoe is actually Papa Smurf shoe. As you see right here, you got AF1. That stands for, um... <laughs> I'm not even going to make nothing up. You know what it is. Triple X. Uh, it's the Vin Diesel movie. They made this this hot shoe for that. Um, now, nah, it's the 30th anniversary of the Air Force One, which is the Pearl anniversary. You know, every major anniversary, like when your grandparents had the 50th anniversary, I believe it's a diamond, or that might be the 100th. I'm not sure. But Pearl is the 30th. You got the graph paper. Paper. Ugh, the double paper. Graph paper, paper, all crazy. But now, nah, these released the other night on uh, NikeStore.com and a couple other places. Quick Strike accounts. This glow-in-the-dark soul, this milky glow-in-the-dark soul right here smells so rank. Like, I swear to you, if you leave these out, when I opened the box, I almost I almost fell out. It was like a punch in the face. This smells so... It smells like chemicals. Like, I don't know what Nike used to make this sole. But, um, it, it couldn't have been good. They definitely made them in, like, a small meth lab somewhere. I call them the methamphetamine bottoms, because they smell like straight-up meth. Not that I've ever smelled meth. Anyway, um... Yeah, this is Crispy Coil, dude. That's the first shoe right there. <clears throat> Lehigh Valley, you know what I mean, Tri-State area, this is the Rodney Dangerfield of the sneaker gang, right here you got the triple X's, and what you can't tell is there's like a glaze over it, and it's like a pearl, a pearlized, um, when you, ch you know, it's like iridescent, it changes colors when you move it, it's kind of cool, and same thing with the tips, 
see what I'm saying? I mean, you can't really tell because I got the Fisher Price my first camera, but the swoosh is like a real nice leather. Going along to the back tab where the Nike Air is pressed, and that right there is also leather. But that that soles what got it for me. They also came out with a, a denim, all black denim. I wasn't really feeling the black denim sole, so I passed, but I'm glad I got this pair, man. Can't beat it. $135. Great quality. Better than a lot of other shoes that I bought recently. Then you got the Double J box. This right here um, is LeBron's swing set when he was a little kid. Uh, they made it into a symbol. That's pretty hot. It doesn't mean anything else. Um, yeah, so... Anyway, yo, I rock a size 11 in some stuff, right? And like I'm 11 and a half in, in a lot of my other J's because J's run big. Um, but 12 in these, I'm a 12 and a half. And they're very rare. So I thought I missed these. They sold out pretty quickly um, along with the Swingmen. And I read on a couple of the blog sites, which I won't mention because they don't pay my bills. But I do mention Emerald Nuts because I got it like that. But um, anyway, I read that this was supposed to be a pack. Containing the dunk man and the swing man. Now, I don't know why they, they shelved that idea. Maybe because it would have cost too much money, or maybe because they just didn't feel like making the packaging, and you know, they probably had these boxes laying around. So, I got the dunk mans. I love Bolt, love dark colored shoes. I already got the Miami Knights and the Christmas joints, and I'll probably end up getting the bread colorway when they go on sale. But um, I usually get three of every Jordan, all right, Jordan, of every LeBron model. As you can see, I got three uh, seven, eights, and nines right now. So that's pretty cool, you know. I don't get too many, man. I can't go too crazy. You know what I'm saying? You got the green tips on the laces. It's got really nice uh, gray and black tones on it. Love it. 3M on the um, the laces. This lace does not have 3M. I don't think. But that's going on my uh, my V2 Cool Grays, so the 8s. Now, on the back of this shoe, there's like a little mishap that Nike just accidentally didn't realize that they were putting out different uh, symbols on the backs of different shoes. Some people got um, uh, an LJ symbol. Some people got a uh, like just the Dunk Man. And some people got the Dunk Man with the Swing Man Halo. Now, I got that one. It's a dunk man with the swing man halo on the back. Um, I don't know why I got that. Um, I don't know if it's like a, a mistake or, or what. But it is what it is. I'm not mad at anybody. Uh, I, I could care less which symbol it is on the inside. Of course, you already seen review. I don't do reviews. I just talk about why I like the shoe and where I got it and you know what I mean. If it's if it's nice or not or how hype it is or whatever. But I really like this shoe, man. I, I just tried it on, and, and the 12 and a half fits so much better than the regular 12. So now I got all these 12s. But these are going to be getting rocked pronto, like ASAP. Um, really, really nice shoe. So for these two pickups, I'm really, really pleased, man. Nike did a great job. But Nike, man. Um, uh, hold on, man. Don't come across that line or pay a cost. Knuckle games and hammers cocked ain't nothing sweet or soft. What? Yo, crazy! Yo, no he didn't, dude. No, he didn't. Anyway, there it is. The pearl with the, with the smelly-ass sole and the, uh, the dunk mans. So this is crispy, man. We had the emerald nuts. We had the SBs that are going to be selling all crazy, all cheap, all crazy. And, um, yeah, that's about it, man. And I have a ton of Soul Collector sneaker magazines. Also, I got all... Get your knowledge up, guys. Art and Soul. Great book. Issue number 22 of Soul Collector. The Bible. Best sneaker magazine ever made for Jordan lovers. Oh, man. Uh, Tinker goes through every single model that he created and explains what he was thinking and what the process was behind it. And in the back, it has every... Jordan ever up until this magazine was released I mean every single one they grade the shoe what it was like then and what it was like now like the fives back in the day were an A plus right now in today's market it would be a B or that's the four I'm sorry then it goes with all the fours threes look how crazy that looks John Madden football makes its debut in the video game world in 88 I was 8 years old Anyway, 
There's that box with the same card that we just got. How funny is that? You know, it's kind of cool. But the, it's, it has an article on the boxes, and it's just a great, great magazine, guys. So go, uh, if you want to know the website to get this book, um, you know, I'll, I'll give it to you or whatever, or search it out yourself. It's issue number 22, February of 08. Great magazine, man. Get it for like 10 bucks. Soul Provider, uh, written by Scoop Jackson from ESPN, Nike Basketball. It's all about their sneakers. It's a sneaker freaker book. And the uh, Sneaker Collector's Guide. Really, really good book. Um, it's just This is just a basic guide to sneakers, man. I mean, it goes through everything. There's your Jordan section, the Air Jordan 1. <laughs> Remember that joint? Yeah, Reebok. Reebok might have made the pump, but Nike made this monstrosity. Anyway, this is crispy, man. It's two fingers. This is Philadelphia. Big shout out to all my people in the uh, in the sneaker world. Love watching the videos. Before I buy a shoe, I check you guys out, man. I'm watching. You know what I mean? I'm in the lab peeping. Tell me where you got these. If what, which one you got? Um, is it rare? I, I don't know, man. I, I really don't know. I forgot what I read. I think. Anyway, this is Fish Grease, your boy Rodney Dangerfield, Crispy, about to go make a Nike ID or something, eat some Chinese food, and, uh, you know, throw a tennis ball around with my dog. But anyway, dude, yeah, this is Crispy, man, I'm about to go upload this video and then uh, live my life. So, there's a couple pairs of shoes, wear your kicks, keep them clean, and keep it crispy, alright? Peace.